<laughs> What's up YouTube fans? Well today we're doing a couples Q&A and uh, we got these questions off of uh, Instagram live. So this will be fun. It's basically questions about Sarah and I's lives. Yep. Who said I love you first? Ooh. Question number one. Who said I love you first? I definitely said I love you first and it was on the Stairmaster, on the Stairmaster doing cardio. At the gym. Yep. I think it was because I was hating cardio so much. I think you were delusional. It could have been it. I think I lost. Know what happened. Yeah, I lost too much water in my brain. Yeah. So. <laughs> Whatever. Who initiated the first date? Ooh. Um, that was also me. Yeah. 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 Um, I had the best breakfast place in the whole world, and I invited Sarah to go to it. That's true. And uh, the place shut down since then, so yeah. no reason even mentioning it. Yep. So that sucks. But it was good, wasn't it? It was very good. Was it a good first date? It's very good first date. What do you remember most about it? The pancakes. Not anything to do with me. You were there. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Okay. Do we want kids? Question number three. Yep. Okay, so question number three, do we want kids? Yes. You got to tell them which, what the question is. So question let's... number three, do we want kids? I would say yes, maybe, possibly in the future. We just like kind of traveling and doing, doing us. We like being husband and wife before we like being... Um, Mom and dad. And literally everyone who has kids tells us to wait. Not, yeah, not one person's like, yeah, do it! They're all like, God, wait longer. Yeah, so that's kind of the discouraging part, you know? It's like everyone that has kids is telling us to wait, and then everyone that doesn't have kids is like, when are you going to have kids? I think the only person rooting for us right now to have kids immediately is my mom. She wants to be a grandma so bad. Yeah. And uh, she needs to hold off for about another three or four years. Pause so. it, Cindy. <laughs> no, we love Cindy. Question number four. What is the best marriage advice you can give? Oh, that's a good one. You can start, then I'll go. Um, I think the best marriage advice to give would be to always remember you're on the same team and it's you guys against the world. You know, I feel like once you really get into a relationship where you're very comfortable and you don't necessarily have to be married, but just in any relationship where you're very comfortable, you typically turn to the person that you're most comfortable with to kind of dump all your crap on and, you know, to, to pick apart things that they're doing. Or say, for example, Sarah does something silly that I don't agree with. I just rem need to remember yeah, it's us against the world. Like say, for example, someone, she's having a bad day, someone's online trolling, you know, whatever the case is. I mean, that happens a lot. And you, and you say something that was kind of borderline over the top. And even though you were entitled to, if I was to say, well, that person had a point, that is me against her. You know, no, it's like, hey, that person was a jerk. You were entitled to do that. But you know what? Hey, let's next time, let's let's do this. You know, always remember it's us against the world. I think keeping that mindset is very important. So I guess my biggest piece of marriage advice would be to never stop working on your relationship. You know, you at work, you're constantly wanting to get better, you know, with your kids. If you have them, you're constantly wanting to get better in the gym. You want to get better, but I like, think a lot of people neglect their actual relationship. And, you know, if you're in school, you obviously learn a lot of things. And if you've never been married before, or even if you have, who knows what what to do you know so always be learning and open to learning and reading a lot of books listening to a lot of audios things like that so never be afraid to stop learning yeah it's like it's like your body if you let your body go and you neglect your body it's gonna turn into a big sloppy piece of crap so don't let that be your marriage yeah what is our ideal date night question number five mmm I don't know do you have something I mean I love food and I love the movies. Anything to do with food. <laughs> so usually what we do is we go to a movie that serves food. Yeah. That's a typical date for us. Yeah. Um, We're we kind of boring. We live in Ohio, so it's cold, so it's not like we can like, yeah, let's go surf or let's go hike a mountain or... We literally go on a date like every day. Yeah. You know, date to the woods where we're in a ground blind. Those are always fun. Yeah. Um, anytime where we just get a chance to spend together, you know, a lot of times we spend our days in sweatpants and workout clothes. So Literally always. For us to get fixed up and go do something is, is pretty rare, but we, we still do that and enjoy it. Yeah. Question six. What is your favorite thing about each other? Oh, would you like to start? I can go. Um, I think my favorite thing about Josh is that he strives to be the best husband ever. It's his like, number one goal in life, which is awesome for me. And he always promised he'd have abs, so I have that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I promised two things. 
whenever we got married, I said I will always have a six pack till the day that I die and I will never cheat on you. Those two things you can always count on. And uh, you know, that does obviously two things. Everything else, I'm gonna screw up. You know, it's gonna be pretty obvious. Yeah. I'm not gonna be a perfect husband, but at least I wanna try. You know, my whole goal in life was to get married and get married once and do it right. And you know, in today's world, that's really hard to do. So there's just a lot of availability out there for everybody. You know, it's just easy in today's world to say, oh, I'll just give up and go find somebody else, you know? So I, that's just not my mindset. My mindset is fully committed. And uh, you know, for a lot of people, they don't really have that, but I've always been been like that. I've always been the totally committed to the extreme kind of guy. So, yeah. What's your favorite thing about me? Oh my gosh. I mean, do I have to name just one? Mm -hmm. Favorite. Just one thing, if I had to race everything else. Yep. Well, if you got as big as a bus, I'd still love you. <laughs> if you were just a head on a chair, I'd still love you. Yep. So there's, it would take a lot for me not to love you, but um, if I had to pick one thing that I admire most is out of everybody I've ever met, girlfriend, not girlfriend, any girl, I've never met someone quite as ambitious and driven as you, which was extremely important to me to find in, a, in another person. You know, so that was that drive, that internal drive that actually inspires me is, is a very rare quality that I don't think I could ever find in somebody else. So if I had to pick one thing, it would be that. Thanks. <laughs> what was your first impression of each other? Um, well, uh, I'll go. First of all, I knew you were smoking hot. Okay, though. so we met at the gym. Yeah, we met, we met at, at the, the gym. gym. And I s was totally creeping on her from a distance. And I was, so it was the weekend of the Arnold, and I had just worked. It was Saturday, so I was already on day two. I worked at the convention. And so I was like, headphones in, hat on. There was only yeah. one 24-hour gym in Columbus. The one I worked at, yeah. worked out at. So I was like, tunnel vision. I'm like, don't talk tunnel to me. Tunnel vision? That's not, it was like straight up Don't talk to bleep. me. I yeah. don't even want to say it, but you were not very nice looking. No. But the, I know. I don't care how bad or mean you looked. Okay, so nothing could hide that booty. Yeah. I was just like, oh dang, I gotta get some of that. <laughs> oh my God. What? So that Are we being honest? Impression? Are these our friends? That was your first impression. I'll be honest, my first impressions were very shallow. Yeah. You know, it's it's it is what it is. But. Thanks. And my first impression was, who's this douchebag ruining my workout, <laughs> hollering from across the freaking water fountain? There, I was within that 25 feet range, okay? So that has, that's the wiggle room to where it's not yelling. Yeah, well, it sounded like hollering, <laughs> and... Well, you didn't hear me the first 17 times I, I know, yelled. thank goodness, because... And then the one time I take my headphones out, I'm like, seriously, I get bombarded, and then I turned around and saw your traps, and... Oh, yeah. I was okay with that. But. Yeah, so my, my first impressions, I thought Sarah was very mean, but after conversation... Um, it validated it. It validated it. No, I thought you were very witty. I remember that. That was something different. Yeah. You had a sense of humor. You had a sense of wit, confidence about yourself. Yeah. You weren't afraid to talk to me. You looked me in the eyes. There was a lot of qualities that I picked up that I actually admired about you. Thanks. Outside of that booty. Yeah, but the booty was definitely number one. Whatever. <laughs> Um, all right, I think we're on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, question eight. Favorite memory of your relationship so far? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Favorite memory of our relationship? Probably when you proposed. Yeah? Yeah. It was pretty special. That was the most nerve wracking memory that me. I ever had. Yeah, it was a surprise for you. I'm sitting there sweating and dreading it. I'm like... Dreading oh. it, great. I was, because I was just like, I didn't want to screw it up. Because it's like, you can only do that once. Like, what if I fall? What if I drop the ring? The whole moment is going to be ruined, and our foundation for our marriage is ruined. It's true. So I, there was a lot of pressure on me. So that's why I was dreading it. And I was like, oh my God. And it wasn't about whether it's the right person or not. That had nothing to do with it. Um, but my favorite memory, for sure, was when you went turkey hunting with me for the first oh time. Oh gosh. And uh, you shot a turkey in the face. That was pretty impressive. I'm glad. No. I'm glad. Now, your archery skills are superb. And uh, that, that was definitely something that um, I admired a lot about you. And that's when you know you are married to a hillbilly. Hey, at least I'm a handsome hillbilly. That's true. At least you have abs. Um, I'm a hillbilly with abs. Come on. <laughs> all right. What was your favorite vacation? Ooh. That's hard. They're all so different. 
They're so different. I, I really liked Africa a lot. I, I thought Africa. that was cool. I really liked our honeymoon. That was a lot of fun. Our honeymoon was cool. We see the thing about our honeymoon is we booked a ton of events. Like so we were like super busy. Yeah. So I feel like active vacations are kind yeah, of our so thing. Yeah, so like on our honeymoon we went on a cruise and we did deep sea fishing, snorkeling, scuba diving, zip lining. What else did we do? We fed monkeys, we went cave tubing. Yeah. So and a lot Belize, of yeah. adventure, adventure stuff. So that was that was New really Zealand fun is month. is amazing too. Yeah. That was a, a favorite date of mine. Yeah, it's a turkey call. So I read a turkey convention right now in Nashville, and I thought <laughs> I heard a monkey, and I'm like, no, that's actually a turkey call. Anyways, I would pick Africa as our favorite vacation. <laughs> hey, they're practicing. They up. are practicing. Um, also, when you know you're both hillbillies. So, what was the proposal like? Um, I, I knew Sarah really well by the time I proposed, which I would hope that <laughs> would be the right, case. Right, that'd be a requirement. Yeah. But here's the thing is some people really want big, elaborate, you know, proposals like, let me turn the fountain in Bellagio into will you marry me? You know, some people are all about that. that. really impressive. I know. That would be. Water <laughs> but, but see, I, I know Sarah, she wouldn't want a bunch of drama because our entire life is so much... It, uh, on social media like everything and there's nothing wrong with that but I knew something that special she'd want to keep very private yeah. and um, so that's exactly what we did we just did it in the hotel um, where we were staying at in Vegas and during the Olympia yeah. and uh, we kept it private and I timed it perfectly because her parents were actually in Vegas at the same time so we were able to go show them right away without cut calling and telling them on the phone so that yeah. was really cool and uh, we made that very special didn't we yeah the whole moment so that was, yeah, so we met during the Arnold and we got engaged during the Olympia. So, and he said, I love you at the gym. So I don't know how much more <laughs> of a gym, gym rat, rat meathead couple we could be. <laughs> how do you stay happy when you're always together? Oh, that's, that's a good one. That is a good one because we literally are together. 24 seven. I can't even use the bathroom without her being nearby. I don't want to be nearby. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, we do. We spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week together. And you know what that does is it basically accelerates our marriage as if we've been married like 10, 20 years. If you've ever seen a couple that's been married for 20 years, they bicker all the time. That doesn't mean that they don't love each other. Yeah. You know, so I would agree with that. You know, I, I feel like we bicker all the time. Yeah. But we have an understanding that each other's hearts are always in the right place. So for us, if she says something that, that offends me, I know she didn't mean to. If she says something that really hurt my feelings, I know she didn't mean to. Her heart's in the right place. So, yeah, it makes me upset. Yeah, I get a little bitter about it. But I get over things very quickly, you know. And I would say the same thing for you. Yeah. Do you, have, do you want to elaborate on that a little bit? You know, I mean, yeah. spending all day together 24-7, I think that we get along pretty well. Yeah. I mean, it's just making sure that, you know, that's kind of why we don't even really live together. We go to the gym at the same time, but... And part ways when we get to the gym and then when we do cardio we're kind of in our own zones and then we get home we just work yeah. work yeah so I, I it really helps because we share a lot of passions together you know so yeah. outdoor passions workout passions you know business passions you know so for us to share so many passions together you know it's it, it makes it a little easier for us to get along and uh, be happy you know I feel like many couples don't even have one passion that they share, let alone three or four or five like we do. Yeah. You know, so I think having those common passions really help us, you know, and move forward. And we're always working on something, you know, together. Yeah. It'd be like you and your husband starting a project together. You know, you keep busy and you get distracted from the day-to-day -day stuff. So I think that's kind of certain our thing. Yeah. So the last question is, what are your wedding details, details about your wedding, things like that. Um, we actually didn't have a videographer at our wedding, which I kind of regret yeah. now that I, now that we look back on it. Um, we have amazing pictures and things like that, but the video really sets it off. So that is one regret that I do have. So if you're getting married, make sure you get a videographer. Right. Um, but no, our wedding was in Columbus, Ohio. Well, Sunbury, Ohio. And we got married January 17th of 2015. And it was like the most perfect winter day you could ever imagine. Like we were a little nervous about it. Like what if it snows really bad? What right. if there's an ice storm, anything? But it ended up being like 45, 50 degrees. It was beautiful. We got some amazing yeah, sunset In January. Pictures. It was like yeah. 50 degrees, amazing sunset. And yeah. It, um, it was beautiful. 
So yeah, we got married at we got married at a country club. Um, I'm just trying to think. Got married at a country club. I loved my dress. It was absolutely beautiful. Mm. I'll never forget watching you walk down the aisle. It yeah. was everything that I had in me to keep from tearing up. You did tear up. I know, but like actually letting the tear run oh, down I because I, yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, so many people are snapping pictures right now and it's going to look like I'm crying. You know, I was like, I can't, but you look so beautiful. I hadn't seen you like for almost a day and a half. I know. I went and stayed with a friend um, that night, so we didn't see each other the night before getting married, which yeah. was really cool. And yeah, it was, I was, it I'm was just trying to think. Our, our colors were um, black, red, and silver. So my suit was black and red. Yeah, obviously I had a white dress, um, but I had red bottom shoes, which I was really excited about. My niece, who's now almost six, she was our flower girl, which was adorable. And we ended up not having bridesmaids or groomsmen. Um, just we've both seen horror stories of people having friends and family members up there with you, and they're in your pictures forever. And then unfortunately, you have a falling out. There's a fight. Someone does something to someone, and you end up hating each other like a year later. So like, you know what? No one's gonna be up there. Um, my sisters all had different. Well, our family people. was like yeah. my brother was. He stood, but not during the ceremony. Right. Yeah. Um, so we it was just us up there with with the pastor. My sisters all had different black black and red dresses, which was really pretty. And then we all obviously sat together at the family table during our reception. But yeah, colors were black, red, and silver. The pastor was actually a family friend of Josh's, yeah. which was really Long time neat. Friend. And my dad walked me the entire way down the aisle, and then my stepdad met us halfway because he's been in my life since I was like seven. So for almost, well now more than 20 years. Um, so my dad walked me the whole way down. We met my step stepdad halfway, which was And then really they special. both walked her the rest of the way, which mm -hmm. was really cool. Um, I'm trying to think. Food was really good. We didn't really get to eat a lot. Like whenever anyone says like your wedding goes so fast, it really does. Like it's like the fastest five or six hours of your life. But the food was really good. We had like personal butlers that walked around and yeah. served um, the hors d'oeuvres and the appetizers, which was, was delicious. Fun. And then our first song, our first dance was Then by Brad Paisley. Yep. And our cake, <laughs> which I should have told Josh, but I didn't because I was selfish and wanted the flavors that I wanted during for our cake. And you had I was to wait so for the top. No, yeah. I don't even want to talk about it. So I'll talk about it. So <laughs> the obviously the top tier you don't eat until your anniversary well, Josh, uh, you news to me yeah no one it. told me this so he got his favorite flavor which is amaretto at the top and i'm like oh that's fine so then the rest of the cake was one layer was almond and then one layer was chocolate peanut butter which is really good we had custom cake toppers made i had those made that was kind of a surprise to you so i mm. sent i sent out pictures of us we got custom cake toppers and then tom was on our cake with my our little cat so we had a little porcelain Tom, a porcelain me, and a porcelain Sarah, yeah. which was creepy accurate. I mean, it was pretty funny. Yeah. It, they then, were really well done. Um, our photographer luckily got shots of it because mysteriously in the middle of dinner, Josh's figurine fell off, but Tom and I stayed. So I think Tom's spirit pushed you off the cake. Yeah, there's, if that metaphor wasn't so real in my life right now, I, I would be <laughs> laughing with you. Yeah, So <laughs> I think it's funny. Um, trying to think what else songs the cake was really good even though i didn't get to try my favorite flavor so that part really good. stink yeah but i mean the whole night was just family friends celebrating with everyone <sighs> went fast i can't believe it's already been like over two years yeah that's crazy it's been over two we had a great time during our wedding can't think of anything else yeah well let's fist bump to the next 10 years damn Cool. <laughs> that was an awkward sign off. Well, how do you want to sign it off? Okay. The camera's dying. That's how we're going to sign it off. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, all right. So we are signing off um, from this couple's Q and A. It was really fun. Yeah. We might do it again. If you guys have any more couples questions, you're more than welcome to ask below. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the places. And yeah.